Hi guys, thank you so much for tuning into my channel. I hope you guys are having a great day. Before I start, I do want to apologize for the sound quality of this video. Now, um, I used to use a phone for my separate uh, voice recording. Unfortunately, that phone um, stopped working, so I currently don't have a, uh, I don't have anything to um, add my audio, so I'm just using the sound from the camera. I apologize if this sounds uh, bad. Um, in today's video I wanted to just uh, share with you guys a couple of pieces that I had made while I was in Abidjan yes a lot of you guys know I went on vacation to uh, Abidjan at the end of April beginning of May and I just came back well I came back about two weeks ago and I just wanted to take the time today to share the pieces that I got made a lot of the times most of the times when you're on social media people are always talking about how um, um, the African tailors, they did not meet the expectations of the design. This time, however, everything that I uh, requested, designed, shared with my tailor, got made to my um, to my heart's desire. And yeah, I just wanted to share that with you. I purchased all the material in Abidjan. Um, I'm going to insert the information for where the material was purchased, but um, the place where I went, they really special specialized a lot with uh, wooding. Um, if you don't know who wooding is, they are, uh, I believe they are Dutch owned, but they do a lot of um, African print. Um, they call it like Bani Olon there, which literally translates to African fabric in um, Abidjan. So most of the fabrics that I got was from a store that specialized in those uh, types of print. Could have gone directly to a wooding boutique, but she was also a distributor. So uh, my mom took me there and yeah, that's where I purchased my material. It was pretty affordable. I think I purchased five materials, five different materials and my total cost was um, 72,000 CFA, which is more or less 150, 140, $150. So my tailor's name is Marcel. <laughs> he is awesome, 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 awesome. He does a lot of um, young hip people, like my mom would say hip people's fashion uh, he does a lot of young people's fashion so it was very easy to just uh, give him my vision and then he was there he took all my measurements and uh, got the clothes done I gave him the clothes at the end of the first week that I arrived and everything got done by Saturday the following week which was uh, the week that I was leaving so I was leaving on Sunday everything got done on Saturday and I had one fitting where um, he um, he uh, fixed up any of the things that weren't uh, right and then I got the clothes uh, the next day so that was just like perfect with the designs I really wanted to go for something that was a simple yet chic fashionable yet flexible so basically things that I could wear with different outfits. I wanted to be able to make multiple outfits with um, the uh, pieces that I chose, which is why I did a lot of sets. So a lot of tops and bottoms so that I could uh, basically switch it out so I could kind of have like a lot more wear out of the clothes. I don't have to wear everything together, but I can get a lot of wear out of it. Currently, none of these outfits are available for purchase. However, it is something I am working on, so I would appreciate a lot of input from you guys. If this is something that you would think that you would like to uh, purchase, uh, let me know. Obviously, if I do decide um, to start a line to have the opportunity to uh, make these outfits available to you, then it will definitely be size inclusive. Um, so yeah. <laughs> Let's just get straight into uh, trying on the clothes and the outfits. 
All right, so let's just start with the first outfit. So the first outfit, it's pretty simple. As you guys can see, this is just a crop shirt and it actually comes with a skirt. And um, I really like this material because it was more so of a two style material. And um, what it would have is that um, it would have, it's a black and white material, but as you can see with the pattern, it has black on white and then it also has white on black. So I really love the style. Um, I just did a pencil skirt and a top and I chose these neutral colors so that I can mix and match it with a lot of outfits which is the purpose of um of these clothes so I did um, have two cropped uh, shirts made that's just because I felt like I needed some uh, flexibility with these shirts they're kind of dressy but also kind of casual at the same time I do really like the structure of the shirt so I'm just going to turn it so you guys can see here the structure of the shirt um, it's not any flimsy type of shirt as you guys can see there is um, it's uh, oh I forgot how to say this in French but it's like uh, you have the material and then you have like an extra fabric on top of it in French they say doublé so it's kind of like sewn uh, twice so you do have that with the structure of um, this shirt and the shirt is also a bit loose because I wanted it to be like that I also have like I said this green set and uh, this one I actually made it into uh, a set with pants as you guys can see it's like long wide leg pants which also purpose is to wear this multiple times have multiple wears so that's why I made it in a style that can accommodate for a lot of different um, clothing as you guys can see in this haul so I'm mixing and matching changing things around it's really really nice and fun to do that uh, this green white and gold material has the same style as the white black and silver material so the main purpose is that you basically have this like a two-tone green on white and then white on green so that uh, it gives that uh, beautiful contrast so that's what um, that looks like and then as you can see here I have um, paired the pants and the top with different outfits so that you can have multiple wears with it this is the next set that I have so this is also a cropped top now with this I actually only wanted to make the top and then with all the clothes with all the outfits I will show you guys my inspiration a lot of times exact copy of um, of uh, where I got it from this top as you guys can see here once it focus it is very structured and it's almost um, it's pretty much like corset like so it's a very structured top very well made again this was made to my size but yeah I only I purchased the material because I wanted uh, to make this top but I had um it was about two meters of material so I had extra fabric sorry for the motorcycle so I had extra fabric and so I decided to make a skirt with the extra fabric and it's kind of like a two layered skirt as you guys can see. I did not plan on wearing this together but when I did put it together I was like okay it's kind of cute but I think most of the time I will wear it separately because together I don't know but for me it gives it a very uh, costumey type of look. <laughs> so that is that and then the last one that I have my absolute uh, favorite so I actually copied this style for style now this is actually a cropped uh, dress shirt but you can see with the shirt you can see what I mean by um, when I was talking about the white and uh, black as well as the green and uh, white shirt so this here you can see it's double layered but this because it is a shirt there's no double uh, layering to it but I love this material so you guys can see here it has matching colors but I actually purchased one piece of fabric so this actually came together and it's a very popular style this is a very popular style in Abidjan you get one fabric but with that fabric you get two different motifs so they keep the same colors but then you get two different motifs and I absolutely love this style because I can do so much with it there is so much that you can do I decided to make this ensemble but as you can see again it is a skirt and a shirt and you can wear it with so 
many different things which like right now um you'll see how i mix it up but um i really feel like i need to purchase a denim uh, shirt so that i can wear that together but yeah that is pretty much it for all the clothes that i had made this also kind of closes my um Abidjan vlog I really had fun when I was there and just being able to make these uh, pieces of clothing is very common because in Abidjan obviously we have stores where you can just go ahead and buy uh, clothing um, if you are buying things with the this Ankara um, wooding panel on that type of fabric there is like a ready to wear however it is more common for people to have tailors make things and when you have a tailor make thing one of the great benefits of that is that it is to your size um, I do spend a lot of time um, while I'm here in Canada um, I don't really have that much of an opportunity to go to a tailor so 99% of the time I just buy ready-to-wear clothes so you know more clothes and stuff like that so being in Abidjan and being able to be measured on the spot get my outfit made and everything everything tailored to my body was really such a great experience and like uh, I would really can't wait to go back and get more done anyway if you've liked this uh, video let me know in the comment section if you want to see more videos like this uh, let me know of course we'll be having more try on hauls and yeah thank you guys so much for tuning in and I'll catch you guys in the next video ciao